Always place a water bottle in your car's tire when traveling. Here's why. Cars are one of the single biggest expenses for most households. That's why every dollar saved is a huge help. Being more practical doesn't have to be expensive. From homemade air freshener to leaving a water bottle in your car's tire, we've compiled some of the best life hacks both inside and outside your car to save you time and money. So let's get into it. Use toothpaste to clean your headlights. If your headlights begin to get a little foggy, don't go changing the bulbs just yet. The fix might be much simpler than that. Try applying a little toothpaste. As strange as that sounds, the abrasiveness in toothpaste can help to get rid of pesky dust and dirt as well as oxidation. First, wash your headlights with glass cleaner or whatever soap you have at hand. Ideally, use a microfiber cloth to get as much dirt as possible. Dry them. Then tape off the area with automotive masking tape or painter's tape to avoid getting any toothpaste on the car's paint. Finally, squeeze the toothpaste onto the light, polish it with your cloth, and rinse off with warm water. And voila! They should look shiny and clean. Always perfectly park with a tennis ball. Parking in a garage can be a squeeze. Nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes. Sometimes you bump into the wall or whatever loose objects are cluttered on the floor. That's why this next life hack can save your garage and your car. First off, you need to park your car in the correct position. Then, hang a tennis ball from the ceiling. The important part is that it runs almost vertically with the windshield. The point is that the tennis ball will bump the window once your car reaches the perfect placement. This way, you'll have a soft and friendly knock on the window every time the car has slotted into place. You won't have to edge into the garage anymore. Once you're perfectly aligned, you'll see and hear a knock on the window. Now you have an automatic sensor for a fraction of the price. Use a mason jar as a car freshener. Don't like the idea of buying endless disposable plastic air fresheners? Consider making your own instead. If you have a mason jar, all you need to do is punch holes in the top using a hammer and a nail, put some fragrant wax in, and close the lid. You can buy normal candles and break them up or purchase scented wax from specialty stores. As long as they smell good, they're going to work just fine. Put the jar in your car's cup holder and you'll be the first one to smell the benefits. The beauty of this is that when the temperature in your car naturally rises, it will melt the wax and a nice fragrance will fill the car. It's easy, cheap, and you can keep replacing the wax with different scents for as long as you want. Keep your car clean with a cereal box. Since cars are such small areas, garbage can pile up pretty quickly. Before long, there are receipts, grocery bags, crumbs, and wrappers all over the floor. Any passengers getting into your car will be immediately faced with a messy environment. A simple way to avoid this is by putting a cereal box or container on the passenger side of your car. Any loose paper or rubbish can go straight in the box, making it super simple to clean, too. This is sometimes referred to as garbage, and there are even cheap items available online for this specific purpose. So if you're serious about keeping your car clean, this is the way to go. Use vinegar bread in the bin. Garbage doesn't only pile up in the car. In the house, too, trash always seems to build up quickly, even if you've only just emptied it. And that can mean a foul-smelling bin that has you slamming the cover or holding your nose. But this simple technique will make trash time much more pleasant. Take an old piece of bread and leave it to soak in distilled vinegar overnight. In the morning, simply put the bread into the bin and the scent of vinegar will overpower and eliminate any bad smells coming from the bin. Use a rubber band as a phone holder. We don't all have the time or money for a fancy phone holder in the car, and in this day and age, having access to your phone is essential even in your car for directions. All you need for this phone holder is an elastic band. This life hack will work in all cars, no matter how new. First, put the rubber band into the top of your air conditioning vent. Then, pull half of it through the bottom and slide your phone into place. If you've done it properly, then you'll have a rubber band strip at the top and bottom of your device and it will be stuck in place. This phone holder might not be sticky, adjustable, or ergonomic, but it's all for free. Use salt to unclog your drain. A clogged drain can be a nightmare. While most people will be reaching for a drain cleaner packed full of powerful chemicals, there's a much easier solution, salt. Pour about half a cup of salt down the drain. Because it's abrasive and coarse, it will chew through many clogs by itself. 
but you will need to carefully pour boiling water down the drain afterward. If you have a couple more ingredients, you can try an alternative. Mix a cup of salt with a cup of vinegar and some lemon juice. Pour it down the drain, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then send some boiling water down to rinse the drain. Use the tab below your mirror. Have you experienced the blinding high beam lights of a car behind you before? There's actually a simple fix for that. If you have a manual mirror, then you might have never thought what the little tab attached to it is for. It's actually a switch, and it comes in handy, especially during nighttime driving. Flipping the switch by moving it up and down toggles the mirror between daytime and nighttime driving by adjusting the way light moves through the glass. When switched onto nighttime driving, it dims the incoming light, making bright headlights less blinding. If you've never used this feature before, then it's going to revolutionize your night driving. Use your soda can tab. There's nothing quite like that sound of cracking open a can of soda, the carbonated fizz, the bubble, and if you haven't shaken it up too much, the gentle settling. But have you ever wondered what that aluminum tab is actually for? It doesn't need to be designed in that way, it's actually very functional. And once you learn about it, there's no going back. If you turn that regular tab, you can slide your straw through, holding it upright in place. Without using this, drinking from a straw that towers double the size of a soda can is awkward and accident-prone. Now you have the solution. Use the holes in your saucepans. You might have noticed that there are usually holes in the handles of pots, saucepans, and other stovetop cooking equipment. Well, it turns out there are two reasons. The first is a little more obvious, but if you don't have hanging kitchenware, you might not have noticed. These holes allow them to be hung up next to each other, but the second use is one that you can use at home. Do you end up having drops of sauce, soup, or omelette on the countertop after cooking? The reason might be not using this hole in your saucepan or pot. It's actually designed for you to poke those utensils through. Say you've been using a wooden spoon to stir something. Instead of putting it down on the countertop, you can leave the spoon resting at an angle dripping back into the pot. Place a water bottle in your car's tire. In 2021, an ad appeared all over the internet cautioning drivers to put a plastic bottle on their car's tires when parked. The reason was related to a series of supposed car thefts that used this method ingeniously. After wedging an empty water bottle between the tire and the bodywork, it would ensure that once the car is started, a crunching sound would follow. Naturally, the driver would get out of the car to investigate, which is when the thief would strike by jumping into the vehicle and speeding off. To avoid this trick, you can place a water bottle there before thieves won't be able to target you. At the very least, you'll be familiar with their tricks. Do you know any other life hacks for inside your car? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.